Today's video was sponsored by Pop Culture Zone Pressing Services. If you need your comic books pressed, I personally vouch for Pop Culture Zone as being one of the best professional companies in the game, offering hands down the lowest prices out there. Services start at only $9.99, and every order place will receive free fast track turnaround times. Even though I press comics for my personal collection, whenever I need a professional press for my key comics, I send them off to Pop Culture Zone and every single book that I've received back, every single one has had results that have exceeded my expectations and I am sure that they will exceed your expectations as well. Make sure you go check the link in the description below to head over to their website, popculturezone.com for complete details on services and how to begin your order. What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Today, we are talking Miles Morales and his latest film, Across the Spider-Verse. We are just coming off of the opening weekend of this film. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on this movie after seeing it. But we are also going to dive right into an amazingly written review uh, this is coming from a YouTube page titled Marvel Entanglement. And the way I walked out of that movie theater and the way that I still feel today, I think this is probably the best summing up that captures the emotions that I can relate to. Let's just go into what Marvel Entanglement wrote on their Facebook post. Like other Spider-Verse fans, we anxiously awaited the release of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the highly anticipated sequel. I must say, this film exceeded all expectations and even outshone its predecessor, which is quite rare for sequels these days. One of the most standout features of Across the Spider-Verse is of course its breathtaking visuals. The film seamlessly blends various animation styles, resulting in a visually stunning spectacle. Each frame is a masterpiece and the animation is so bold and innovative that even simple dialogue scenes become extraordinary. What makes this film truly exceptional is its ability to harmonize its visual grandeur with a clever character-driven narrative. It delves into themes of destiny, friendship, and the sacrifices heroes must make. The original film's sense of wonder and emotional depth are abundantly present in this sequel. It manages to be innovative, thrilling, humorous, absurd, heartwarming, frenetic, and even poignant all at once. Across the Spider-Verse also deserves applause for entrusting its storytelling to its animation. The visuals not only enhance the story, but also become an integral part of it, driving the narrative in unexpected directions. The film takes risks and they pay off splendidly. Nevertheless, this film stands on its own as an instant classic. It maintains the whimsical energy of its predecessor while offering a fresh perspective with a slightly different writing team. It's like The Empire Strikes Back or the two towers of the Spider-Man trilogies and franchises, raising the bar and surpassing the innovative animation of the first film while maintaining the quality of the story and relationships. Across the Spider-Verse truly nailed the bigger and better approach. In summary, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is a much watch for fans of the franchise and anyone who appreciates exceptional storytelling and groundbreaking animation. It sets a new benchmark for animated films and leaves a lasting impact with, with its thrilling action, compelling characters, and visual splendor. This cinematic experience is not to be missed. What more can I say? I mean, again, a big shout out to Marvel Entanglement, a, a Facebook page that eloquently and just beautifully, you know, again, captured everything I felt. And I just want to add a moment piece here, folks. Miles Morales is the future. And Miles Morales is the future because of multiple things done right with this character over the last decade plus now. Miles Morales was a character that uh, was created with, with substance. You know, you, you take a mantle from a character that is arguably the most popular character, which is Peter Parker Spider-Man. Um, and how do you do that? How do you copy, in a sense, a character, create another quote-unquote Spider-Man, but yet make him his own unique character? And with Bendis and, and the team that created him in the comic books, I think they did an amazing job doing so. But what can I say about what this animated film franchise with two films in so far has done for this character. And I agree with everything that this individual said. 
this film set the bar um, higher than its uh, the the original film Into the Spider Verse. I came out of there instantly feeling like this one beat out the original. This film did absolutely capture the emotion of of every single character. You know, you weren't, you didn't feel overwhelmed by all these different characters from different multiverses popping in. Oh, Spider this or Spider that, Spider Gwen or Spider Punk. No, everyone had their unique um, personality and their unique role, whether they were on screen for 30 seconds, three minutes, or for the majority of the film. They nailed it and you know this isn't spoilers but as we know there is one more film to come that's going to continue the story and i absolutely cannot wait for this we have something right now that is absolutely magical with this character and i'm going to be discussing in a future video soon here about uh, the idea of mantles and what's going to keep the superhero alive for these next generations Everyone talks about like, oh, comic books, you know, we're losing ground. Uh, nobody reads comics anymore. They're getting superhero fatigue, this, that, this, that, and this. Well, I believe that there's always this kind of fine line that you're riding in, in trying to, well, how do we create new characters that are fresh, but how do we yet pull people into something that they can relate to? So that's why we see 20 million supermen or superwomen or supergirls. That's why we see 20 million Batmans or Bat Boys or uh, Bat Girls and Bat Womans and 12 Robins at this point. And the same thing with Spider Man. I mean, we just got a Spider Boy and we have like four or five Spider Women. But I do believe the mantle is going to be the thing that sticks and it's going to evolve in terms of no matter the mantle, we're going to drive home the individuality of these characters. And we can bring them to life in so many different mediums now with comic books themselves, with video games, with live action, and with animation, whether that's a, a feature film or something that's released on HBO Max or Disney Plus, etc. Miles Morales is the one that's going to lead us into the future where 20 and 30 years from now, these kids, I mean, I'm a grown middle-aged man coming out of this and I'm giving myself chills talking about this 20 to 30 years from now these kids that are being able to go into these movies and come out in awe of these characters that are reading these comics in awe they're gonna want that nostalgia just like my generation and the generation before me have had with characters like Peter Parker and the Fantastic Four and the X-Men and so forth and boy, I, I do hope that I'm still around to see it because it's going to be absolutely amazing. This film, in my humble opinion, um, now I, I only saw it once. I like to see films twice uh, before I really make an opinion. But I'm telling you folks, um, this is top five superhero movies of all time in my book where it sits right now. So. Um, if you have seen the movie, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, do your best not to give away spoilers. I don't want anybody watching this video that hasn't seen it yet uh, to be spoiled. Let's be respectful of everyone, but I definitely want to hear your uh, spoiler-free thoughts on the film. I want to know also what you think of Miles Morales or even some of the other uh, characters that we saw in this film, like uh, Gwen, Spider-Gwen, or even Spider-Punk, and what you think is going to be the future of them uh, within comic books 5, 10, 20 years from now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be well, and until next time.